All right, we're back here at the Guinea Pig Sanctuary, Pigathon 2023. If you've been watching some of the earliest segments, uh, you already know why we're here. We're trying to help get piggies adopted. We're working on trying to help the sanctuary uh, raise the money that they need. They desperately need to continue to do the good, the great work that they're doing uh, for all of these piggies. So a couple of things as we get going. They actually uh, have something going today, and I believe it'll carry through past today. Uh, if you wanted to make a donation to the sanctuary, uh, that would be wonderful. They have Venmo. They have PayPal. Uh, we have those links in the comments from some of the earlier videos. We'll also be dropping that in the comments to this live stream as well. And you can always message the Guinea Pig Sanctuary right here on the Facebook page if you would like. But if you want to make some donations today or even moving forward, we've got a little bit of an incentive for you. I mean, who doesn't like incentive, right? So, if you make a $5 donation today, we can get you one of these nice little... Guinea Pig Sanctuary Bandanas, which are great. Summer's coming. You need to tie something kind of around your neck to cut down on the sweat, which is really nice. You know, I'm not good at it at all, but there's a way, I guess, you kind of wear it on your head like this, you know, but you want to make sure the Sanctuary logo is, is out there so people can see it and love uh, what you're doing. That's with the $5 donation. If you decide you want to go with a $10 donation, we've got the next step up. It's a little bigger, and it is... The rainbow uh, bandana, which personally I love. This is fantastic, just for so many reasons. And, of course, it's got the United We Week, guinea pig sanctuary print on that. This is a, a great statement of support for the sanctuary. And this is also just a great statement uh, for inclusion. Uh, we all know what that rainbow symbol means, what it represents. And it's, it's definitely something that, you know, I'm proud to have. Uh, I have one. Uh, we have some of the family, and so it, it's wonderful supporting a lot of different things at the same time, the sanctuary, um, as well as showing your pride. So for $10 donation, we can get you one of those sent out to you. Now, if you decide you want to go with a $15 donation, well, then what they have here is the guinea pig tote. So if you don't want a backpack, but you want something easy to throw a couple of things in, run out to the store, run to the friend's house overnight, you're camping, you need something to kind of throw your toiletries in, going up to the shower, whatever it is, and show your support to the sanctuary, that would be wonderful. That's a $15 donation to the sanctuary. After that, we get a little bit bigger. Okay, So, $20 donation gets you one of these little great things. And if you go into the supermarket, you know nowadays it's always best to bring your own bag. So if you're going to do a little shopping, small items, and whatever else, this would be perfect. This would be perfect to take with you. You're supporting the sanctuary. Also, you're advertising for them. And who doesn't love free advertising? I know that I love free advertising, and so does the sanctuary. And they appreciate not just the fact that you'd be making a donation, but you'd be helping to get their name out there, which is fantastic. It would also have people wonder, gee, guinea pigs. I have a family member who loves guinea pigs. Tell me more. Now, if you want something to carry in the tote, well, we can do that too. For a $50 donation, we can get you one of these. And I'm not going to get the whole darn thing in the in the, in the the screen, just because it's a, it's a beach towel. It's a big beach towel. And they got them in a couple different colors. I'm talking behind the towel. Right? Guinea Pig Sanctuary, there you are, at the pool, at the beach, showing your love for guinea pigs. By the way, it's actually soft. It's a nice, soft beach towel. Um, I know we have a couple of these at the house. And uh, one of my youngins likes to um, roll it up around their pillow and use it to lay on because it's so soft. But we've got the blue stripe one. They've got an orange stripe one. Well, let's be honest, it's great for the fall. If you're crazy like me and like to go jumping in rivers in the fall because the cold water is exhilarating, hey, we got an orange towel for you as well. So if you were interested in one of the beach towels, that is a $50 donation. Now... If you're really sitting there going, I can't decide which one. I like the towel. I like the tote. Gosh, I could give one of the handkerchiefs to the kids. I want the towel. And then the tote's amazing. I could take and let my, my, my little one throw all their Legos in it. I love how you think. So we got you covered. For a $100 donation to the Guinea Pig Sanctuary, you're going to get it all. All of it. Now, all this stuff you can buy in the store. Um, but... 
with the donation, you get two things. Actually, three things. Maybe even four. Hold on. Let me think about this for a second. You get a couple of things if you make the donation. There are 501c3, which means your donation is tax deductible. Deductible. I'm having a hard time with English this morning. It's Sunday morning. I'm supposed to be on a couch watching football. But this is more important. Your donation is tax deductible. Then you get the item. Win-win already. But also, you get the knowledge of knowing your donation is helping these pigs. It's helping them with vet bills. It's helping them with hay. It's helping them until they get adopted and find that forever home. On top of that, you also get to see people see you with the guinea pig logo. Spark a conversation. Maybe you're looking for that special person in your life who loves guinea pigs just like you and you don't know how to do it. Well... Walking into the store with one of these bad boys on your shoulder, somebody else goes, hey, I love guinea pigs too. Next thing you know, you're talking about guinea pigs, you're having coffee, you're going to lunch, then it's dinner, next thing you know, it's a wedding, it's a honeymoon, and then you've got six or seven guinea pigs at home and you're an entire family, which means then you're going to need more towels. And no problem, guinea pig sanctuary still got you. So, those are the different donations that they got going on today, and I believe they're going to carry that through today. But I wouldn't wait message the sanctuary, see what's here. I don't know how many of the orange they have, so if you want an orange over a blue, you probably want to message quickly versus lately. Also, the last segment, we talked to Angie about the store. And those are some of the things in the store. If you're thinking about placing an order at the store, well, today, if you place an order, if you message Ange, or you message the sanctuary, or even throw a quick comment at the bottom of this feed that you're interested, if you spend more than $20 in the store, they will send you, free, with your order, a package of the Oxbow Organic Rewards Barley Biscuits. Piggies love these things. i got a pig waiting to meet you who's already looking at the package because I'm moving it. So, $20 purchase at the store, and you can do it online. You don't have to come down. But come down. Can't you hear the piggies? They're looking for people to come down and pet them. Feed them veggies. Come on down, we're here. They're here till 5 o'clock today. But that's what's going on with donations. And what we're going to do now is one of our volunteers, Haley, uh, we're going to have Haley, uh, one of the volunteers here, join Haley. us. And Haley's going to talk to us about something special that's going on that is very limited, and you want to get on top of this real quick. So these are the things that are available for donation. We're going to hand those off because I'm going to have Haley join me. Uh, with what they got going on, and this is something special. It's a sparkle raffle, a sparkle raffle. And no, we're not just raffling out sparkles. They've got a whole basket put together with a whole bunch of really cool things, and it's only a dollar a raffle ticket. Okay, come on over, hey, sit down, throw that stuff up here. It's a dollar a raffle ticket, which I mean, hey, that's fantastic. And on top of that. All of the money raised for this raffle is going to benefit the guinea pig sanctuary. Now, you don't have to be here to buy a ticket. We'd love for you to be down here today. It's a beautiful day. The piggies are looking to snuggle. So if you're local to Salisbury, Mass., come on down. But if you're not and you still love what Haley's going to show us today, you can do it by private messaging the sanctuary. Is that correct? Yes. And they can do this through uh, PayPal or Venmo, right? Yep. But Venmo is probably the, the more preferred because it's quicker and easier. Yeah. And, you can do it right away. Yep. And if they do it through Venmo, what do you do? You send them a, a ticket number? Uh, yes. Through Messenger, we send you a, a ticket number, um, and it will be drawn at the end of this live. Oh, we're going to draw it at the end of the live. So you want to get on this. And, and I mean, looking at it already, um, I might just say the fix is in. Um, buy me a bunch of tickets. Um, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that either. But, so... Um, Let's talk about some of this stuff real quick. And this is stuff that was donated by different businesses and people yes. who are supporting the sanctuary, correct? Yep. Fantastic. So, uh, wow. So we got a mega crystal growing lab. Yes, we do. So if you're into crystals at all, um, you can grow your own. I mean, why not? And it looks like you can uh, add colors. In eight, eight bags of crystal growing powder. I didn't even know they made powder. I know, right? Jeez. <laughs> the seed rocks. All right, I knew about seeds for vegetables, but rocks. That's cool. All right, uh, growing chambers. It's got a light-up display. I mean, you want to see this stuff at night, right? Oh, yeah. Um, magnifying glass. I mean, if your eyes are like mine, you need that. 
Uh, oh, and five real gemstone specimens. Yep. I mean, do they have to get those? Can you and I take those out and see if we can sell those separate? I, mean, I wish. Uh, okay. All right. So we won't do that. And then we've got a crystal nightlight. So when you're growing crystals, you got a nightlight. So you can see where you're going so you don't trip on the crystals and break them. So that's just that these can't even fit in the basket. There's so much stuff there, and these are so big. But Haley, take us through some of this other stuff here. What do we got? So we also have a magical crystal that you can watch grow every single day. You can get 12 different colors, and it's really cool. I've done one of my, I've done one myself, and they're really really cool. I like it. Can we get pink? Yes. The pink, the pink, the pink. Yeah, all right, this pink. All right, good. I'm in. I mean, in case you didn't know, it's my favorite color. But so. All right, so. We also have a very special stuffed guinea pig with a very special sparkle magical hat. All right. So it's, very it's, cute. Um, so, I mean, really ready for any kind of wizarding school or, you know, spooky night in the woods. Of course. All right, what else we got here? We also have... A guinea pig. Looks like a license plate. Yep. That's which is it. very, very cool. I like this. I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We also have our one of our rainbow uh, week love you bracelets. We love these. Wear them every day. Love it. These. Oh my goodness. Are sparkle golden potato earrings. I'm jealous. I wish I could have these. These are amazing. I mean, these are a great replacement. I mean, you know. Like we've got plenty of fuzzy potatoes, but you know, you don't want fuzzy on your ears, right? So we got the golden potatoes. This is great. I love this. And those look like yeah. those look like stainless steel hoops. Yes. So they're not the peg style. They are actually they're the bigger the bigger hoops. Uh, excuse me, hooks, not hoops. I, I don't know. I, I don't wear enough jewelry to be able to be uh, uh, professional speaking about it. We also have two sparkle uh, face masks. If you guys feel the festive, Halloween's Halloween. coming. Oh Halloween's yeah, coming. Halloween's right around the corner. Masquerade parties, of um, or I mean, you know, if you just want your significant other to look at you funny like I do, you just take one of these and just walk into the other room, and they look at you and go, "What are you doing?" I won the raffle. That's what I'm doing. All right, what else we got going on here? We also have a sparkle guinea pig necklace. Uh, which is stainless steel. It's very nice. So the nice thing about stainless steel is it's, um, you know, I think it's hyperallergenic. It's stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about, you know, some people, if they wear copper or if they wear certain golds or if they wear um, sterling silver, they can get a rash. Yeah. But the, the stainless steel is really nice because it's durable yep. and it is hyperallergenic. Very few people end up having any kind of reaction. So if you like to wear jewelry, um, but you're limited because of... The type of metals it is. This is, this is perfect. Yeah. This is absolutely perfect and durable. So it's very cute too. I know we have a lot of little stuff in here, but what is it? Tell, talk to me about this. This is a one of a kind. It is a bedazzled hashtag weekend skinny pig sanctuary tote bag. Oh man, I'm loving this. I am loving this. I don't even know if the camera right now is doing it justice. The the sparkles. I'm gonna steal this from our second three Haley because I'm gonna do this. See if I can get it closer to the light. See if we can get a disco effect going on here. I don't know. Anything at all there, camera person, just Yeah, it's... Yeah. All right, see? All the more reason why you need to come down, because the camera is just not doing that justice. I mean, we got a good camera, but still. All right, and it looks like we have other matching sparkly stuff here. What are we looking at? Yes, we do. We also have a sparkle miniature backpack. Oh. It has a little sparkle pom-pom, and... Another uh, storage spot. It has straps. It's very, very cute. I love it. I love it. Well, that's just quick for a quick night out. You know, throw in a you know a couple of bucks, your cell phone, whatever. Yeah. Um, I know that you know my uh, one of my youngins is still in uh, high school, so this would be perfect for them to throw a couple of things in and uh, carry with them to school, and then take off and go hang out with their friends and uh, keep track of it. Um, the only problem is that uh, they may have to hide it from my wife, who might take this because she likes sparkly things too. So, oh, this is, and it's got a texture to it. I'm really It saying. does. So you move it's reversible. It. I like this. This is, all right. So, and, you know, it's just a dollar for a chance at this. I mean, this stuff's worth more than a dollar. 
Oh, yes. What do we get here? Is it a brown paper bag? You brought lunch. You brought lunch. It's a brown paper bag. <laughs> this is a very special item. Oh. We only, we don't have many of these. It was handmade by one of our volunteers. Aunt Judy? Uh, no. Uh, Michelle guinea pig. It is a fairy holding a little guinea pig. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, you said Michelle Guinea Pig? Is, yes. Is she a volunteer? Is she someone who has her own small business? Or? She has her own small business. She helps volunteer here. Um, she made one for me with okay. me holding one of my pigs. They're absolutely adorable. I hang it on my door. It's, they're very good quality. So does she have a, an Etsy store or a shop or anything else that we can kind of give a shout out to and say thanks? Or is this something that she does out of the goodness of her heart? Or what do we got? Um... This is Fairy Blossom Dolls. Fairy Blossom Dolls. I'm, I'm going to guess they have a Facebook page. Yes, they do. So you can go to Fairy Blossom Dolls and order one like this, but, I mean, listen, listen, Giddy Pig Michelle, we're, we're loving what you do, but right now, a dollar. It's a dollar. You're, you're talking about a whole raffle and you get that. But if you don't win this, then you can take and talk to Michelle Giddy Pig at Fairy Blossom Dolls on Facebook. And uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be a little bit more than a dollar, because that's a lot of quality craft work right there. So, um, a dollar. It's worth it. Come down. This is the basket. There's a bunch of other stuff in here, too. That, there you know. is. Oh, now, what is this? This is fun jewelry. Oh, I like this. I like this. This is nice. This is, you got kind of a little bit of a texture to it, and it's some different colors. It matches the backpack, actually. You get the paints, the blues. I mean, that's fantastic. I like this. And that... I mean, look at how well it goes with the sparkles. I mean, this is fantastic. It and we've got a couple of little neat little uh, tossing items here. This is... Oops. Oh. Ah, there it is. I got it. I got These it. I'll are... Be back. <laughs> Maybe I won't be back. Uh, so these are little guinea pig things. earrings. And it also has a matching necklace with the chain. Uh, these... Say, I can't read it from here. What does it say? They really say I can't read it from here? It says, always in my heart. There you go. And for those of you who have guinea pigs, you already know. I mean, these, these little furry potatoes, I mean, they take up such a large space in your heart. Uh, you know, um, I, so I think that that is really an accurate uh, inscription on that. So, and then I see we've also got a couple of the guinea pig pens and stuff. You know, which are great. Um, live, laugh, weak, which is a good one. Weak, love you. Weak, love you. So, um, which is always great to have a couple of pens around. But, you know, the pens, they can go right in the backpack. They can go right in the bag. Uh, you know, the, the license plate. And really, I mean, it's probably a comfortable spot for the pig to kind of hang out in, oh, yes. in a little pouch looking out on, on its adventure, its witchy little adventure. You know, you can wear a mask with a mask, you know. Take a little piggy out on a witchy adventure. They grow crystals. So and now I understand why this is a, a sparkle gift bag. I like this. So, sparkle gift basket. A dollar chance. The raffle today, it's going to end uh, at the end of the live stream today. You don't have to be here to win, but you do have to pick it up within, is it 30? It's a week. So if you do win, if you, if you bought it online, you have a week to, have, uh, to come and pick it up. Or and can ship it to you. Jeez, oh, this just got 100% easier. Take a little Venmo, a dollar, uh, to take a shot at the raffle. You don't have to be here. And if you win, and will ship it to you. I mean, you don't even have to get off. The, you can continue to be a couch potato. A couch pigtato. That was the shirt from inside, yep, right? Yep. Couch pigtato, right? But again, if you're anywhere near Salisbury, come on down. Come on down. Fill out the, the raffle ticket in person. You can hang out right over there with other people and watch the live stream, or you can go inside, shop the store, and snuggle the pigs. The pigs are dying for people to show up. Bring some veggies with you. They love green peppers. They love carrots. They love cucumbers. They love, oh, if you really want to spoil them and you want to be the favorite human here today, bring some blueberries or some strawberries. Oh, they and then love suddenly, that. yeah, they love that, don't they? No, well, yes, and, they do. There you go. And, and Haley knows. Haley works with them all the time. I do. So listen, I'm going to start giving this back to Haley so she can stop putting this basket back together. Um, and um, I will take this off so that I don't forget to give it to you as much as I want to keep it. Because who doesn't love a, 
a disco glittery guinea pig. You know what I mean? I know. So I'm going to give that to you as well. So, a dollar a chance. Why not take five chances? Yeah, five dollars. And all of this stuff here, you know, this alone, this this alone is probably worth more than five dollars. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure you go by that the store, it's at least, it's at least ten dollars. You know, this little one, the hat, I mean, right there alone, it, you know, is more than a dollar's worth of merchandise. The sign, I mean, these kits, I'm willing to bet that this kit probably alone in the store is a, a, probably a, a retail value of, of close to $35. So a dollar for a ticket for this kind of value, some custom work. I mean, that fairy doll is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. I mean, and you can hang that on your rearview mirror. You can hang it in your window. Or, yes, yes, we are heading into the holiday season. That would make a beautiful ornament on a tree. So, listen, come on down. If you have questions about it, you can put them right in the live feed. We'll answer. You can send a private message to the guinea pig sanctuary. And they'll be happy to answer any questions you have about this basket. You can message them. Haley's going to be here all day. We're going to see Haley a little later again, talking about yes. something else they do here at the sanctuary. But it's dollar chance. Again, I can't encourage you enough. It's a beautiful day. Come on down here. We're at 129 Bridge Road, Salisbury, Mass. Now, we came up, the crew, we all came up today from close to the Cape. And it wasn't a bad ride. It was, a, it was just, just a hair under an hour, like... 59 minutes and 37 seconds. So that's a hair under an hour because an hour is 60 minutes. So yep. technically it's a hair. It's, it's but, a hair. You know, so and it was a nice ride. The foliage is beautiful. It's a beautiful afternoon to come on out, come hang out with the piggies, meet the volunteers, a dollar chance at the raffle. And if you have guinea pigs and you're a guinea pig parent, I'm telling you, the prices in the store, you're going to find they're beating the prices at some of the bigger box stores. So it's really worth coming down, stocking up for your supplies, letting the guinea pig sanctuary gain that little extra bit of money that they need to help take care of all these wonderful little animals. So, Haley, thank you. I'm going to hand some of this stuff off to you because we're going to actually bring a couple of piggies out here um, to have, have you all start meeting some of the pigs who are up for adoption. I mean, let's be honest. That's what you're here for. You're here to meet Haley. You're here to meet the volunteers. You're not here to see me. I'm just a big dumb animal. We need to bring up the cute little animals so you can see them. Haley, thank you. Um, they're going to start. They're going to start monitoring the messages. Correct. If anybody wants yep. to do this, Venmo is the easiest way in the world. Yep. You can do PayPal, um, but Venmo really is the easiest. Yes. Awesome, Haley. Thank you so much. I'm going to hand this stuff off to you as you head out, and then we're going to be bringing in our first piggy, Skunkin. Skunkin. I love that name. Okay. So Haley, thank you. We're going to have you go ahead and and step out so we can bring Skunkin in. All right, and I'll hand this stuff to you as well. I'm telling you, this is amazing stuff. You, you gotta come down and check this out. All right, so we got our first, we got our first friend. All right, we're gonna meet Skunkin. Hey, Skunkin, how are you? Hey, buddy, come here. You want a carrot? Who doesn't love a carrot? There we go. Okay. So this is Skunkin. Skunkin is one years old. And Skunkin was born August 4th, and if you're August 4th, well, then you have to be a Leo, right? And I'm going to look off camera for a minute, because I think we may actually have a comment or question from one of the feeds. Where are you guys located? Jessica Jessica was asking where we're located. Jessica, we are at 129 Bridge Street, and that is in Salisbury, Massachusetts. There are signs right up front. As you come to the sanctuary, you'll turn into a little driveway that brings you into the building, and there's a couple of signs up front that say Guinea Pig Sanctuary. So it's 129 Bridge Street, Salisbury, Mass. Come on down, and when you get here, you know, by all means, say hi. Let us know you saw us on the live feed. Thank you for asking. Skunkin, who is chomping on some carrots here, is a great little guy. He's a male. Uh, he does not like skunks. I don't know why. But also is not a fan of green apples. Now, Skunkin does love red apples, but only the red ones. So you're, a, you're partial to the red apples, are you, buddy? Okay, good to know. So, okay, I know. Let's get you up here. Here we go. There we go, buddy. I know. So Skunkin's been here at the sanctuary for about 10 months, and he's looking for a forever home. Now, right now, he's not bonded with anyone, but he certainly could be hooked up and bonded with another little guy. And again, as we talk about bonding, we're going to talk later with some of the volunteers here. 
But the guinea pig sanctuary uh, has a lot of online resources, including articles on how to bond. Uh, the guinea pigs of New England group also is run by the sanctuary. There's a lot of uh, people who have been guinea pig owners for years. Uh, some who have worked with guinea pigs for, for, for decades. There are a lot of uh, helpful tips in there for bonding. Uh, we're going to talk to Nurse Jackie in a little while about some of the things that we can do to help keep our piggies safe and healthy. Um, but Skunk in here would love a forever home. Been here since August, and uh, he is just looking for that right setup. Not a fan of the Peppy Le Pew cartoons either, just, just to let you know. Um, he does like cooking shows, especially if they're cooking a lot of veggies. So come on down, meet Skunkin, uh, look at adopting, and uh, he will be your best buddy on the couch as long as you got red apples. All right, Skunkin, you ready to go back, Lapel? All right, here we go. Here we go, Skunkin. So... We're going to talk about adoptions, we're going to talk about fostering, and we can absolutely answer questions today. Volunteers can talk to you today. I'm going to sit down in a little while with one of the volunteers, we're going to take you through the process of adopting, and it's not that difficult, it's very easy, and the sanctuary has a lot of support for you as you go through the adoption process, um, and they don't leave you hanging, they check in. They need you to check in, they talk to you about the pigs. It's a lot different experience than... Uh, buying a guinea pig from some of the different pet shops. Uh, there's a lot more education involved. But we're going to get ready to bring in one of our next little ones who are looking for a forever home. And I believe we have... Boise. 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 Almost as in Boise, Idaho. Not sure if, he, if Boise's a traveler, though. There we go, bud. And how are you, how are you feeling about the green peppers? Hmm? Oh, you're kind of showing your good side to nope, the camera? Nope, yeah. All right, that's fine. We'll put that here, and we'll let you hang out here. Not too okay. far, though. So Boise is a year old, and Boise's uh, birth date is June 4th. So it's a summer, Boise's a summer baby. And Boise's been here for nine months. Now, Boise absolutely loves lettuce. So if that be the case, how about a little red leaf lettuce there, Boise, huh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, now he's going to... Okay, so he's going to look to kind of shelter in a little, which is what some pigs will do, because they are prey animals. Now, not only does Boise love lettuce, but um, Boise's not a fan of news shows. So Boise's not going to want to sit on the couch and watch news with you. Uh, Boise is more of a travel channel pig. Um, would like to learn a little bit more than just Boise, Idaho. And Boise is a great little boy. Uh, he is looking for that forever home. And, you know, again, Boise is somebody that can be bonded with another one of the, the, the piggies here at the sanctuary. Uh, Kim and Jackie and Ange and Haley and all of the different volunteers that are here can really help you through the process of not only adopting, but getting a couple of pigs together, bonding them so they can live together. Um, if you're thinking about adopting a, a little boy, you're definitely going to want to plan on having a good-sized cage. I think I have to check my notes, but for a couple of bonded boys, you want them in a cage. And I'm going to have to ask because I want to make sure I'm not giving the wrong information. Uh, and I will check with one of, the, one of the volunteers here. I also do know that those are the questions they can answer for you very easily when you're here looking at, at, at adopting a piggy. Uh, if you're not sure you're ready to adopt, they offer a foster program as well, which I, we will have someone to sit down and talk to me about the foster program. Um, you know what's so interesting about piggies? They make wonderful, wonderful uh, emotional support animals. I'm not talking about trying to put them on a plane and take them with you like you got a pet alligator. I'm just talking about they are just wonderful, loving animals to sit with. If you just need to sit and need someone to just love on you, and, and accept you unconditionally. These little piggies are just the right setup. They're just the right prescription for you. They just love you to death. So Boise, we're gonna let you head on back. All right. So Boise, of course, is black and white. Got a little tan over here on his butt. And his little paws, 
He's uh, had a nail trim, so he's all set and ready to go. All right. So, Boise, thank you very much. Here we go. And next we've got Butler. Butler. Butler's coming up. Hi, Butler. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Now, Butler is two years old. Butler's birthday is Christmas Day, December 25th. And uh, I think, Butler, you're, you look just like a snowstorm. So it's perfect, right? Now, you were born in December, which makes Butler Capricorn. Now, Butler likes long walks under the Christmas tree, uh, as long as there are plenty of peppers, right? Plenty of peppers by the Christmas tree for you? Yes? Okay, good. Now, he loves Christmas for obvious reasons. It's his birthday. Doesn't like the fact that the Christmas gift and the birthday gift are the same thing on Christmas morning. That's kind of boring. Um, Butler is uh, one of my... Uh, one of my buddies, um, Butler, is not a fan of the Hallmark movies. Nope. Doesn't like Valentine's Day and Christmas. Sorry, Hallmark. Uh, Butler is more of a fan of the old Rankin Bass. You know what I'm talking about. You know, Rudolph, Frosty. You like Frosty, huh? Yeah, you kind of identify with Frosty, right? You guys both kind of have the same complexion, right? You checking out that camera. You ready for your moment? As you can see... Uh, also a big fan of green peppers, which most piggies are. And the one thing about green peppers is the piggies get vitamin C from the green peppers. Green peppers are one of the better sources of vitamin C for the pigs. We mentioned earlier while we were talking to Ange in the store that piggies don't make their own vitamin C. So they need to get that supplemented in their food. And whether that is by way of getting peppers into their system or some of the vitamin C treats. Either way, it's helpful. And it's obvious that Butler is a big fan of getting his vitamin C by way of peppers. So Butler also is available for adoption. Butler also, uh, as one of our little boys here, is uh, ready to hang out on the couch at Christmas with you, to hang out, likes to walk around and explore. He's a very curious pig when he's not eating peppers. But come on down and meet Butler and we'll see if he's right for you. All right, Butler, you ready? I know you're looking for more peppers, but we'll send you back. Okay. Come here, buddy. Mm. All right. Here we go. All right. Now, we're going to be bringing out one of our next, one of our next friends. All right. Oh. Now, you, my friend, look at you. This is Geronimo. And Geronimo is a year old. And Geronimo... Here you go, bud. There you go. Geronimo is a year old, and Geronimo was born May 5th. And Geronimo is a Taurus. All right. Geronimo's uh, just recently come to the sanctuary. He's been here for about two months. And uh, not a fan of snow and ice, so he's hoping to get a new home before it gets cold out. He wants to be nice and comfy. Big fan of fire and trees. So if you get a fireplace... Uh, and you like to have a holiday tree up all year round. Uh, my family, we have a tree that gets decorated for all the holidays and all the seasons. So, oh, you like that, huh? Geronimo's ears just perked up. What? A tree? Big fan. Geronimo loves to walk around free, hang out in your, uh, in your den or in your living room, walking around on the rug and following trails of carrots. So you hide them, he'll find them. So Geronimo, May 5th, and as you can see, he's kind of got that, that kind of chocolate peanut butter look to him. He's got a little bit of dark, and he's got a little bit of tan, and I have a feeling that somebody might try and call him Reese's. So, Geronimo is also looking for that forever home to be adopted, and Geronimo might be the perfect match for you if you like to sit in front of a nice fire, all wrapped up and warm in a blanket. Geronimo is ready to come snuggle with you, right? Huh? As long as there's plenty of carrots, right? All right. You're going to head back to your cage, and we'll send the carrot with you. Sound good? All right. Here we go. I know it's not going far. It's not going far. Here we go. <laughs> Here comes Geronimo, and here's Geronimo's carrot. And who we got coming out next? Zane. Zane. I like it. Hi, Zane. 
Ooh, look at James, one of our multicolor piggies. Here you go. Here's your pepper. All right. So, Zane's a little white. He's a little brown. He's a little tan. He's a tricolor piggy. He's two years old. And Zane was born on January 11th. And uh, he's a Capricorn. I like that. He's been here for 10 months. I know, Zane. I know. I know. He's kind of crazy, huh? So, Zane is a big Marvel fan, not so much DC. So, if you like to play Marvel movies in your house, um, Zane will be happy to sit right there. Zane will be happy to munch on a veggie or two. And uh, he'll uh, talk canon with you. He'll talk about who his favorites are and why he likes that Iron Man and why he thinks there should be an Iron Pig. Right? Okay? So, I know. Hi. Hi. Zane is very curious. Um, Zane's very active. Zane loves to do a lot of bouncing around and what we call popcorning. And for those of you who don't know um, what piggies are and who they do, when they're happy and they're excited, they bounce. They bounce around on all four feet. They bounce up and down and they do what we call zoomies, running around the cage um, really fast. So Zane is a young one, oh, and he also likes to dig. Zane's a digger. So maybe if you've got a spot on a construction crew and you need help digging a couple of hoes, Zane's your pig. All right, Zane, you ready? Huh? Just say goodbye to the people. You should say, come on down and meet me and bring veggies. Right? All right. Okay, Zane, here we go. Going to come back up. And don't worry, your veggies will go with you, pal. Don't worry. Veggies will go with you. All right. So, this is our last pig for now. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I know, I know, I know. I got you. I got you right here. Right here. Now this one, our friend right here, is all set and ready for the holidays that are now approaching because it's the first day of fall. We've got Pumpkin Liam. Pumpkin Liam. And Pumpkin Liam was born September 7th, 2021. And that makes him a Virgo. So, you know, if you want to kind of pay attention to your astrological charts, make sure you're matching up perfectly with that perfect pig. Uh, Pumpkin Liam might be for you. Pumpkin Liam's been here for two months. And uh, Pumpkin Liam likes long walks in the garden. Um, especially a pumpkin patch, I would assume, right? The pumpkin patch here. Let's get your carrot a little closer to you. I know you're a little bit nervous. Now, rumor has it, Pumpkin Liam is not a, um, a, a friend of Zane. He dislikes Zane because Pumpkin Liam is all about the DC and uh, not about the Marvel like Zane who just went by. In fact, as they passed each other coming up to me, they uh, both looked at each other and, you know, went, uh, DC, Marvel. Okay, that's, that's how they weak. Um, now, here's the thing for Pumpkin Liam. Pumpkin Liam had a home. He was, he was, he was adopted a while back here from the sanctuary. And um, unfortunately, two months ago, this little guy was brought back. Uh, he was returned. Um, they no longer wanted him for whatever reason. Um, but Pumpkin Liam has now had a forever home, and now he's back. And he is a loving little guy that is looking for that forever home. He thought he had it, um, but now we're hoping to find him the right forever home. So if you think that Pumpkin Liam's right for you, you want to take a nice walk in a pumpkin patch, you want to watch some DC movies, and if uh, you get along and your, your sign gets along with Virgos, then Pumpkin Liam is the guy for you. Uh, September 7th is his birthday, 2021. So he's still a youngin. He's still got plenty of, plenty of active piggy in him, and he's very curious. So... Again, Pumpkin Liam, come on down. You can meet him in person. Send us a message if you want to learn more. And in our next segment, we'll be talking to you about the adoption process. The question. And hold on, we got a question. Uh, how old is he is the question. How old is Pumpkin Liam? Pumpkin Liam is two years old. Um, he was born September 7th, 2021. So he just turned two a couple weeks ago. Oh, look at your channel. Oh, there we go. Now we're posing for the camera. Now you're showing, the, showing them your showing them your good side? Huh? You're a cute little fuzzball. Let me side your good side. Okay. 
So, uh, was there another question or was that the only one? It's the only one? All right, Pumpkin Liam, that was the question. How old you are? Okay. <laughs> so, say, come on down. Come on down. There's the raffle tickets, there's discounts, there's giveaways, and there's me and my cuteness. All right, we're going to take a break here for a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and let uh, another video play, tell you a little bit more about the sanctuary, and then we'll be back with more piggies in a short time. Thanks for watching.